in Mark, um, a narrow 1 0 a defeat here in Oriel Park. Your thoughts on the game? Thoughts on the game disappointed because I thought we deserved the draw, but we didn't deserve the draw because we didn't play as well as we, we could do. And to let the goal in just for half time is, as a coach or as a team, is so frustrating. We told him, Mark, there's a, there's a poor kick by Paul Martin in goal. Jack's got caught, twisted, didn't clear the ball. And then Paul's come steaming out on the corner box. He don't really need to, he slid it in. But fair play to Paul, he performed in the second half. But again, a bit like the Bowes Cup game, I think four or five of us didn't turn up. We didn't play as well as we could do. And you can't do that in this league. You can't come away. Even though we didn't perform and we probably deserved the draw. We, I put it down to fatigue, three games away in a week. I said to the lads, we've got four games left, we've got to make sure that don't happen again. Did you think second half with a couple of chances that you might just nick a point? Yeah, definitely. And we've whipped, we've whipped come three balls go across the box. We need players in there to just be a tap in. So, look, again with the, the players, we don't want to be a second half team, but that's the way it seems to be working out. But they can't give up opportunities like that. 44 minutes in the game, we're controlling it, it's going to plan. And second half would have gone right in our favour. The crowd was starting to turn a bit on their team, moan a bit. And we've let them off the hook and you're not going to recover from that just for our time. We could have probably got to draw out the game. But if we played that game another five times, we'd play a lot better than that. How tough has that been? Obviously, Friday losing the Cup semi-final, having to regroup for Monday and then having to regroup again. It is. But look, we knew what was happening. We just had to deal with it. And I'd said, as I said, I'd, I'll give them that one tonight, as in maybe fatigue, because we got such a small squad and the lads that have played all three games, it will take it out on them. But it's a mentality, you've just got to clear your head and look, we've got four cup finals and I know it's a cliche, but they are four cup finals from now to the end of the season where we've got to win a minimum of two. I see lots of uncertainty now about uh, Monday's game due to a major electrical problem in the RSC. Your thoughts? Do you want my honest thoughts or do you want my politically correct thoughts? So here we go. My honest thoughts are there's been an electrical problem, the, the, the ball's blown, there's no electric, we couldn't train it today. We was honest, we told the league. And just before the game when I was coming in here, there was two options of playing it on Monday in a neutral venue, not really an option, or you can play it on Monday the 8th, same time, 7.45, at a home game as it should be. And then I've learned after the game that it looks... we. Can we play it on Monday, 2 o'clock in the day? But I think the health and safety, there's no electric in the stadium so or the change room, so I don't think that's an option. Or they want it played in a neutral venue. Like, and I've never, ever heard of that in any, even, I'd say, top league in Europe, but in any really professional league in Europe. We've been honest, it's got nothing to do with us. And if it is, it'd be a travesty, another travesty to happen to this club We're, with how it got treated in covid and now we've had to give up games there to, for the lads to fight all this way, for us to play one of our two remaining home games away at a neutral venue. It's just, it's totally, it's totally unfair on the fans, on the players that have got ourselves in a position to stay up. To ask that, you look at, since the fans have come back in, I think we've won them all except one which we drew. So it'd be taking a massive uh, advantage away from us. If they're even thinking about doing that, it's just, it's mind blowing for us. Is just a weekend prepare as if it may go ahead Monday? But, yeah, we're, cool. we're prepared there's going to be a game Monday, but we don't know what time, we don't know what place, we don't know where it's going to be. They might, we'll probably play up at Finn Arps or something like that, or they stick us up at Derry, like really rub our nose, isn't it? But look, it's just, we, we, it's just, we use it, we do use it, as I said, with the RTE draw when they drew the balls out that, the, the clear glass bowl with numbers. Like, like with the semi-final with the season's going against us, it's adversity and we use it to fuel our fire. If they do play it in a neutral venue, it's, it's probably showing us we're not really thought of too much of a team in this league and we're, we're going to show them that it don't matter what they do to us, we're going to stay in this league and we're going to get the points that's needed.